Hi guys, another video from DWorks to showcase a new project slash job that I have decided to tackle. I've been asked by one of my customers to make a batch of connecting rod from scratch out of 7075C6 aluminum. I studied this drawing for a while before making the list of steps needed to make it to the best of my knowledge. I then said, dude, get the camera out, we'll make a nice video. This is the model he gave me as a sample. The new one I am making is not angled like that, but I won't be showing my customer drawing for obvious reason. Since I am starting with a flat bar instead of a cast rod, there's quite a few steps involved to make it. I'm gonna separate this video in two or three parts as I go through every step of the fabrication. I have all my piece cut to length here, and the first thing I need to do is prepare both part of the rod to be bolted together. I want most of the machining to happen while they are bolted together. This is what 300 bucks of 7075 looks like. What I still let me tell you. Preparing the caps, I need to drill the hole and do all of the machining I won't be able to do when the bolt head is in place. I start by facing and drilling one hand, as well as making these notches to lock the rod in place as per my customer request. I also need to clear the head bolt diameter on the other side. I finish the cap preparation by doing the hand shape, held with little pressure and taking small safe cut. Now that I've made the locating step, as well as the step to clear the head bolt, the only thing left to do is to do the hand shape of the caps. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna take small safe cut, but I'm gonna speed up the video because it's really long. I have all the caps ready, so let's head to the rod preparation. I need to face one end of each plank to be perfectly square as I'll be working with the part standing up. I'm gonna be using a forming tap instead of a cutting type tap as it makes stronger thread. Form tapping can be done with coolant, but in aluminum you are safer to be really high in concentration. I personally prefer to use Metaflux on every tap and hole that I do and I've never broke a forming tap in the last 15 years. The hand of the rod also received the locating step so the assembly fits tightly. Now that both the rod and caps are prepared, I'm gonna assemble them with the proper torque required. In this case, it's 20 foot pounds of torque. It's also a good time to use the connecting rod vise that I make. I got my first rod mounted on the vise. What I want is to get some of the underside machining done first, as I will do all of the finishing mounted on a fixture. I really like to rough my diameter with helical ramping. It's fast and it's one less tool change to do. My machine is an old carousel model with about 10 to 12 seconds for every tool change, so I try to keep them at a minimum.
As you can see, I did face this first side, rough bolt bore and did the step, but with enough material left on both sides to hold it on the second setup, so that with the parallel, hole, it still sit flush. This is all for today, guys. I will go over all the other steps in the next video that will be online in a few days. If you like my project, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all kind of cool things, machining project, car races and custom shit. If you have a question or a comment, please don't hesitate. If you want to tell me that my English is bad, don't worry, I'm already aware of it. Thanks for watching, I appreciate every single view I get.